happy Sunday the 24th of July. Can't believe this is the last week of July. Like, next week's August. That's crazy. I can't even remember June, let alone July. No? You know what I mean? It's gone blooming quickly this summer, but it does mean that I only have five shifts left, including today, until my week off. Whoop whoop! So when you're watching this, it's my week off. Whoop whoop! Very excited for that. Much needed. Kind of not feeling it right now. <laughs> need a week off so yeah your standard sunday today working um but it's only like 11 till 5 shift so sundays aren't all that bad we can cope with a sunday um who likes my tan line by the way excuse the cleavage shot but i am working this uh, the sunburns kind of just turned into a tan but now i have the strangest tan line ever and none of my work clothes cover it so fabulous i'm just gonna work it and <laughs> hope nobody notices <laughs> Good evening. I have just got back to my car. Had a really nice day actually. Work was okay. Work was normal. It's Sunday. Nothing majorly happens on a Sunday. And then my mum met me after work and we went for dinner. We went to ZZ's. Don't ask what I had because I can't pronounce it, but it was really good and it had goat's cheese on it. And I love goat's cheese. It's one of my favourite things ever. Like they need to bring back, Costa need to bring back the goat's cheese and sweet chili chutney paninis oh my goodness they were so good i think they were like my favorite thing ever right so i'm now just gonna go home it's seven o'clock i finished work at five i'm gonna go home and have a shower because my barnet needs washing and then i don't really know what i'm gonna do for once i don't really have anything to do yay i really need to go and have a shower but i keep refreshing my twitter feed and then getting distracted i'm addicted to twitter it's a problem and instagram definitely addicted to instagram Good morning, it's Monday morning and I'm just not feeling it today. I don't want to go to work. I want to be outside, I want to sit in the sun and read a book. Also, I've had like a rash come up on like the like jaw of my face and it's really tight and itchy and I don't know what it is and I'm trying to think if I've used anything different and I don't think I have. So I don't know what it is. I might have to have a makeup free day tomorrow after I've filmed and kind of maybe put like a moisturising face mask on or something. I don't know, it feels annoying and I feel like it's just like there and everyone can see it <laughs> and it's making me feel very self-conscious. I don't like it. Um, but yeah, today I'm just going to focus on the fact that after work I'm going to the theatre with Pippa and hopefully that's going to be really fun. And then I'm off tomorrow. So I just need to get through today. I've got 9 hours and 20 minutes until I finish work. Definitely going to be counting those down today. <laughs> I'll catch up with you later. Firstly, please ignore how I look, my hair and my face and everything. I've just, it's been a very eventful day today. It's definitely going to be one that I'm not going to forget quickly. Basically, we've got a really cute older man who like Older man, sounds really weird. We've got an old man that likes to come into our shop every Monday and he comes in for a little chat and he's really, really sweet. He's lovely. And he's been coming in ever since um, Boxing Day. And he came in today and it was all fine. And then he collapsed while he was in the shop. And I've never been so like terrified in my life. Oh my goodness, I just really hope he's okay. I mean, he was fine when he left. He, we, we managed to get him sat on a chair and um, he had some water and we had first aid come down to like check him out and everything. And he seemed fine, but oh my goodness, I hope he's okay because he's such a lovely little guy. And I'm not in next Monday, so I can't see if he comes in. <laughs> Hopefully the girls will tell me though if he does. Hopefully he will too. But yeah, that was a very scary morning, let's just say. Poor guy. I think it was the heat. I don't know. Uh, but right now, I've got changed at work, if you can't tell. And I'm just going to go and park my car and go and meet Pippa. And I don't know what we're going to do, because the show we're going to go see doesn't start till 7.45. And it's only 6.35 right now. So I don't know what we're going to do for 45 minutes, because it'll probably take me that long just to get to the car park and park and stuff. But I'm sure we'll find something to do. It's a nice day, so we could always just go for a little walk. Or I can take some blog photos for her if she wants that. I don't really mind. We'll see what happens. Again, apologies for my god awful appearance, but I hate feeling out of petrol at the best of times, and I've just had to do it at half eleven at night in a pump petrol station on my own. <sighs> That was, that was scary. Every car that went past, I was like, <gasps> <gasps> I'm such a wimp. Right, it is 20 minutes past midnight. 
it's tomorrow basically. Happy Tuesday. I haven't had any dinner so I need to go get some food but I don't know what to have. So I have a bowl of cereal to have some yogurt and granola. This is what I look like when I couldn't bother to take my makeup off last night before I went to bed because it was like 1am. I think this is probably the best I've ever looked. I'm not gonna lie. Vanilla yogurt and nutty granola has literally been my favourite thing the last couple of days and clearly Aurora wants to try it too. <laughs> Don't you dare lick my bowl. Look at this. I'm literally trying to eat my yoghurt and she's begging. Are you a dog? You're not a dog. She literally, honestly, just got up on her hind legs to try and like get to my bowl. Cheeky little thing. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm watching episode two of Between too, so you can see. Kind of fell asleep during season episode one, um, so I'm not 100% sure what happened, but hopefully I'll be able to catch up because I can't bother to rewatch it. Hello, I've literally spent my morning watching between on netflix and i've watched the whole of the first season um and i really wanted to film my video this morning and clearly i have not so i need to film it now and what's the time now it's 10 past three and i haven't filmed my video yet and i wanted to film it at like 10 a.m um so yeah so i'm filming it now uh it's my july favorites if you're wondering and it will be up at 6 p.m. today if you're watching this on Sunday when it goes up at 12 p.m. it'll be up at 6 p.m. today if you're not it went up on Sunday the 31st of July at 6 p.m. <laughs> I wanted to put a picture like in a thumbnail of me vlogging so I thought I'd vlog while trying to take a picture for a thumbnail don't know how this is gonna turn out but there there's the picture oh no Okay, I look really weird in that. Look at this. Hang on. Look. <laughs> Maybe you should probably do a different attempt again. Do it again. Trying a different attempt. I kind of want to face the camera a different way, but then you get the reflection of the lights. Oh shit, I can't press the button. <laughs> Okay, you might think I'm a wimp, but there's a spider in my room and there's no one here to get rid of it. Look! <laughs> Focus on the spider! And it's right above my door. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. It's time to edit. Now I've finished filming and since I've had a really lazy morning, I thought I'd be really naughty and uh, I've got a crisp sandwich. Oh yeah. So I'm video crisps if you're wondering. They are the best ones to have in a crisp sandwich. Let me know what your favorite crisp sandwich is. <laughs> He's rescuing me. Ta-da. Thanks. Bye. My hamster's squeaking. Hello. Eating your mango. Hi. Good morning, it's Wednesday and I'm running really, really late and that's my bus. I'm probably gonna have to like leg it because I need to get a ticket. Sunburn update. I'm peeling, like I'm peeling on my head, I'm peeling on my chest and the top of my right arm. Nothing else, that's it. My left arm's not peeling, my legs aren't peeling. I'm just more annoyed that my face is. <laughs> oh well. Um, also, where's the sun gone? Why is it raining? I don't like the rain. Don't start raining even more, I've got to get out of my car now. Okay, I'm going to have to go. This is so typical. Can you hear the rain? This always happens to me. No, <laughs> look! I'm not even going to be able to see it. Look at that. Just because I have to get out of my car now. I'm not dressed for rain. Oh, now I can't get through here. Um, there we go. I'm through. I don't like this weather. This is not fun. Good evening. I'm really hot. I think my cheeks are really rosy. And also, I put on a waterproof mascara today. It's a YSL one. I can't remember what it's called. I'm so disappointed in it, like, it's all around my eyes, it's like smudged, I just, no, 
not impressed why so I'm not impressed but yeah I've had a really nice day today it went really quickly which never happens and also I saw a lady that I used to work with she was on maternity leave and I saw her today she's back at work not with me she works somewhere else that doesn't make sense basically she worked with me then she left to work somewhere else then she went on maternity leave and now she's back and I saw her today and it was really really nice to catch up with her really good to see her not much else to update you on today I'm now going to Daniel's I don't know what we're gonna do tonight I really really want to watch some more Stranger Things and I'm hoping he is gonna let me watch it today because I don't have to wait to watch anything tomorrow um because we both got the day off tomorrow so we're gonna be chilling um, at the minute he can't really walk or go anywhere because he has fluid on his knee so we're gonna have a quiet day in tomorrow so hopefully you'll be watching stranger things this is really rambling i don't really know what i'm saying so yeah just gonna go and i'll catch up with you later so i've just got to daniel's house and like i said a minute ago he's got fluid on his knee but i haven't actually seen him since he did whatever he did and he's just told me and showed me a video and turns out he didn't fall over something and hurt his knee he thought it was a good idea when he was drunk to sit on the bonnet of a car while someone was driving it and it went the car went into a pothole and he obviously fell off the car he's an idiot idiot so we are currently in tesco's and we're buying cutlery and like plates and stuff like a dining set for a house we don't have yet but we've gone for, actually I'll show them in real life, they're these ones. These ones. They're really nice. I like them. Just want a house now to put them in. Harry Potter. Who's Harry Potter? Oh, no one. Never toss already. My day today has literally been the definition of lazy days. It's literally consisted of sitting on the sofa and watching Stranger Things, which we finished. Very emotional, not gonna lie. Um, not gonna spoil anything, but whoa. Watching Harry Potter and eating Starbucks. Oh, and Egg and Soldiers. We had Egg and Soldiers for breakfast. That's literally what my, oh, oh, oh. she just made such a face at me. My cat's here. So hey. She gets very defensive when she's on the windowsill. She doesn't like people touching her. Look at this face. Well, now you don't look grumpy. My evening now needs to consist of packing because I'm going away tomorrow night after work. We're going away to see family. Uh, they all live up north, so that's going to be fun. Um, but I need to pack. But how on earth do I pack these days? Like, what is the weather going to be? Do I need to pack summer clothes? Do I need to pack jeans? I haven't got a clue, so this is going to take me quite a while. I also want to kind of find something to watch on YouTube or Netflix or something while I pack. But I don't know what to watch. Let's see what I've got in my subscription box. Um, I could watch... Oh, there's lots of vlogs I could watch, actually. I'm going to catch up on the Sukoni Jolies. That is what I'm gonna do now. And I will probably catch up with you in a bit. Wish me luck. So I decided no lazy days complete without a bath. And I feel like I want some lush stuff. Now I've got these and it's a Yupit Mango bath oil. Uh, I've never used one of these before, but I thought I'd give it a go. Okay, hopefully you can see me. You're currently on my cupboard door handles. So it's called Juvia Mango, it's a bath oil. It smells amazing. Let's open it. Ooh, pretty. Hopefully it will show up. It's so slippy. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Let's put it in. Um, I'm guessing you just kind of put it in the bath and it melts, but. We'll find out. Okay. Do you just leave it like that or do I have to have water running? I don't know how it works. It starts to like melt in your water and lets off the oils. I sussed it. It smells so good. I cannot wait for this bath. And hopefully I'm gonna finish my book too. That's my plan. 
Good morning, it's Friday, it's my last day of work until my week off and I'm so excited I really want it to go super duper quickly so I'm trying to keep really busy. Yeah, don't know how much I'm going to be able to vlog today but really excited to go up and see family. I'm peeling so bad guys, like I hate it, it's so embarrassing, I'm really like, conscious of it now. I woke up and my arm was really bad too, uh, yeah, not great. Oh, also, I forgot to mention on Wednesday, my YouTube channel is two years old this week. Yay, happy birthday to Polly Pocket Beauty for this week. Two years and still blooding along. <laughs> Hello. It's a lot later now. It's 20 past eight and we are an hour and a half into our four hour journey up north. We've had a cheeky McDonald's. We actually got that from Cambridge because I got out of work quite late and I was really hungry. So we got that before we even left. And um, we're now at Grantham for a wee break and then we will continue up north. It's pretty much rained the whole way up. It's quite depressing really, like torrential rain. Rain where you can't really see in front of you. It's been a really fun drive. <laughs> can't wait to get to my grandma's house and have a hot chocolate. You can't not have a hot chocolate when you go to grandma's house. I need to go to bed now. <laughs> I'm so tired. Oh, um, it's only a nine hundred spin, so it's no good doing. Good morning. It is Saturday, and I am in my happy place. I am at my grandma's house, and it makes me so happy. I'd say good morning. It's probably close to the afternoon right now. We've had quite a lazy um morning. I've had a shower. I've actually straightened my hair today would be a bit different the one thing or one of the things i love about being up north is the water because it makes my hair so soft i love it and it doesn't go frizzy and it just goes really shiny and silky and i love it i'm really sorry if you can hear loads of cars it also sounds like i'm by the seaside i'm definitely not <laughs> my grandma lives near a main road um let's show you what i'm wearing i'm wearing this I've got my Topshop jeans on. These are JB jeans and I'd like to roll up the ends, mainly because personally I'm a bit sensitive about, like funny about my legs, because they're quite long, but my torso is quite short. So sometimes I just feel like, I don't know, they just, I don't know. It's, it's a personal thing. Anyway, so yeah, um, Jamie jeans with the holes in the knees rolled up at the bottom. I'm gonna be wearing my Converse. Sorry if I don't like feet, I hate feet. And then I've just got a little crop top. Well, not crop top, but it's slightly shorter. From, where is this from? Zara, I think it's from Zara. And I have a nice cream, like oversized, really slouchy cardigan to wear too. I'll show you that later. Cause it's cold up here, people. It's very cold. I don't like it. I don't know how dark it is in here either. I've tried to open the curtains to turn the lights on, but it's quite dark in here. Um, but yeah, I don't think we really have much planned for today. Kind of a relaxed day. And then uh, this afternoon, Chris is coming up, so I might say hello to him. And then we are going out for dinner tonight. I don't know where we're going, but apparently it's really good. So I'm excited about that. See you later. Okay, super quickly, because I've now put, I put some thoughts on. Um, this is the cardigan, just really oversized, thick knit, well not thick knit, kind of mid knit, cardigan, slouchy, we've got fat wings and tassels and I just love it. It's my cosy comfy cardigan that goes with everything.
the end of my weekly vlog number three. Hopefully we've enjoyed it this week. It's been some memorable days this week, definitely ones that I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. Thank you for, oh, I don't know if the curtain's in there. Thank you for all your kind comments on my last two vlogs. It's been so lovely to read them all and to see that you're all loving the vlogs as much as I'm loving recording and editing them. Um, I, I'm really enjoying editing vlogs. I don't know why, but it's just something about a vlog that's really fun to edit and it's nice to kind of watch back. I think I said this last week. It's nice to kind of look back on them and see what you've done throughout the week. But yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And the video going up tonight is my July favourite. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that too. And I'll see you next week. Bye.